So North Korea is opening back up for tourism after being closed for four years due to the pandemic. Foreign tourists are going to be allowed to enter North Korea in the city of Samjian by December, which is a place that a lot of people go skiing and stuff up there, apparently. There are North Korea-focused travel companies called KTG and Koryo Tours, and they said on Wednesday that their local partners in the country had informed them that the government planned to open up for trips to some of the locations throughout North Korea. And the, apparently there's going to be more places that will open up to tourism, possibly after December as well. Now, Samjian is like a mountain city that's close to the Chinese border, and a lot of people go up there apparently for skiing and for mountainous activities. Apparently, they got hotels, all kinds of attractions, a ski resort, and all kinds of other stuff, according to North Korean state media. According to the Koryo Tours website, it says that tours to North Korea typically cost between 600 and 1,500 euros per person. The only nationalities that are restricted from travel to North Korea are citizens of the Republic of Korea, so South Koreans. U.S. passports are not valid for travel to, in, or through North Korea unless they are specially validated by the Department of State. Now, more than likely, this advertising for traveling is probably directed towards Chinese citizens more so than anyone else since China and North Korea are so close together. And your average U.S. citizen is probably not going to want to travel to North Korea to go visit the sites.